Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral in the Zoe Chapel. And we meet on Sundays in the morning for two services, 7 to 9, and the second service is from 10 to 12. Now, we meet also on Wednesdays at 6.30 to 8 o'clock and that's in the evenings for our midweek service. Join us and you want to enjoy yourself. Now, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts at faith simplicities. Simplicities of faith. I mean, it's the simple things about faith that sometimes eludes us. This, I mean, sometimes, you know, um, when we talk of faith, I mean, people see faith as an abstract uh, thing. That, whoa, I mean, let's not compare the gift of faith to just basic faith that we need to survive. The Bible says the just shall live by his faith. And that is faith by, with which we live everyday life. And you can't relate to God unless you come by faith. Well, he who must come to God must first believe that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The just shall live by his faith. So we have a gift of faith. That is a supernatural act of the Holy Ghost that comes and empowers a man to do mighty works of faith. And you see faith in action in healing. You see faith in action in multiplying five loaves of bread and three fish to uh, feed a multitude. Uh, those, those are gifts of faith. But then there's basic faith that we all walk by. You wake up in the morning, you go to sleep, but you have faith that you need to rise up in the morning. And Jesus Christ made faith very simple for us. You know, and I'm capturing my lessons from two scriptures. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 and then Mark chapter 4 verse 31. Matthew 17, 20 and Mark 4, 31. Jesus Christ made a statement. Now that statement was a bombshell to me. He said, if you have faith like a mustard seed, that means if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea and it will do that. Whoa! Mustard seed faith. And that was what Jesus was talking about. Now I'm wondering, wow. Now, why would Jesus use a natural thing to explain a spiritual truth? And that's the principle of the kingdom. God always uses the natural to explain the spiritual. So that's why the principles are first the natural and then the spiritual. God uses natural things to explain spiritual truth. Otherwise, we'll be lost. We won't understand. So he said, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it will happen. So, wow. I mean, my mustard seed faith Removing a mountain, whoa, hold on a minute. But Jesus didn't leave us just wondering in a quandary as to what exactly um, uh, mustard seed faith is. It, he went on to explain. So the, the reason for these two scriptures. He said, the mustard seed is the smallest of all seeds. The mustard seed is the smallest of all seeds. Yet when it is planted... Yet when it is put into action, when it is put into the ground, it grows up and becomes the tallest of all trees. So Jesus Christ is making a simple lesson. You start with simple faith. And simple faith that God can do it. Not faith in the big, I mean, uh, ethereal or something like that. No, 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 no. But faith, simple faith. And the Bible says, when the mustard seed is planted, it grows so when you put your little faith to action, it builds to bigger faith. So today I have a headache or something. Then I pray, I lay my hands and then I pray. The headache goes away. I say, wow. The next time I, have it, I pray, it goes away. So wow. So the next time somebody else has faith or somebody has a headache, I lay hands, it goes. Then I can call a crowd full of headache <laughs> patients and pray for them or something like that. I won't do that anyway. But Faith grows. That's what Jesus said. So unless you are ready to put the little faith you have to test, plant it, sow it, put it into the ground, put it into the test, let it flow. I mean, here's the point. 
And mind you, when a seed is being put into the ground, there's no guarantee that it will grow. But guess what? There's that little ounce of faith that it might work. So you put that little ounce of faith to the test and it will work. And guess what? Then it grows. So faith grows from mustard seed, from a seed stage to a tree stage. And there's no way you get to a tree stage unless you start from a seed stage. So guess what? Don't be afraid. Put your faith to the test and see it grows. Then when you see it, it, it becoming so fruitful, you get it. The, the, uh, the, what we call it, the, the, the gratifying feeling. Oh boy, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Becomes a pounding factor in your heart and in your mind because you've done it. Faith has grown. So you know what? Plant your faith and see it grow. See you later.